Hey girlies, it's Tammy. I'm back at you with another video today. So today is a very exciting video for me. <laughs> I've literally been waiting like a week to play with this stuff. Um, I did decide to pick up two of the Morphe Little palettes. These palettes are bomb. Well, they look bomb anyway. And from swatches that I've seen from Jacqueline Hill, Nikki Mato Nikki Matorials. <laughs> Nikki tutorials. Now I believe the collection did come with five palettes all together or five, four or five palettes all together but I picked up two because there was only really two that called my name. I got the Copper Popper which I think everyone got and the shade Coffee Toffee as well. Um, I'm not quite sure if these are in stock at the moment. I could check my phone but by the time I edit this video and get it up um, they could be sold out. I know they are limited edition but I'm not sure if they're sold out yet so definitely check the Morphe website but if you're from the UK I've got some good news our favorite what should I call it okay I can't think of the name but you know UK shops that sell US products our favorite well my favorite one diva approved London she is now stocking these which is where I bought mine from so um, I bought mine for £12.99 each, not including postage I will say they are smaller than I expected so this is the palette and as you can see, compared to my hand, it, it's really tiny. Um, you know, I, I know it's called the little palette, what was you expecting, Tam, but it is really small. So this is Copper Popper. I have not touched or used it, and I will say the palettes are um, messy, if not cheap looking. It is kind of like cardboard with the plastic film. Uh, nothing really special or nothing that's sticking out to me as the best packaging ever but the shades are gorgeous and swatches that I've seen show the pigmentation as amazing so I'm, I'm really not fussed about the cheap packaging so this is coffee toffee a lot of coffee browns and burgundies and deep shades which I love so I'm just gonna insert some swatches right here and then I'll be back Okay, so girlies, now that you've seen the swatches, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on my eye. I'm trying to think, in my head, this sounds like a good idea to do one on this eye and one on this eye because then you get to see both palettes in action and it sounds like a good idea in my head okay so i completely forgot to tell you guys they also stock other morphe palettes like the normal big 35 ones they did the last time i checked they did have the 35o in stock this is on diva approved london not morphe website this is for uk customers right now yeah so you can buy the real 35o from diva approved london she is stocking it and it was in stock the last time i checked she also had the 35 matte and the 35 o shimmer um and this is the one i got because i did that 35 o dupe palette i didn't feel the need to go ahead and buy the 35 o again because i'm quite pretty happy with that palette so i decided to pick up the 35 f which i believe stands for fall into frost and it's just got all of these gorgeous shimmery shades perfect for the fall i'm gonna give you guys a close-up so this is the 35 f palette i believe it's a relatively new palette for morphe and i absolutely love it i haven't used it tons and tons but i plan to do a video on it very very soon okay so the first shade i'm gonna take is this one right here which is kind of like a caramel brown it kind of reminds me of what is that shade called I want to say salted caramel or peanut something along those lines by another brand so i'm just going to take that and blend it right into the crease oh so i'm going to take that orangey brown shade and start blending that into the crease wow um initial review or thoughts it blends beautifully and this shade has just become my favorite transition <gasps> damn it okay forget i did that okay so so far on this orangey brown amazing i'm blown away i love it i'm obsessed and then of course building up the crease i'm gonna take the shade next to it this one right here which is just a bit of a deeper orange brown <laughs> shade i'm so glad i got this palette because i had a feeling from when i saw jacqueline hill swatch it i was like i'm never gonna get to see the light of day with this palette 
um, just like the Morphe 35O. As soon as she swatched it, you know, you never got to see the palette in stock again. So I'm so happy that Diva Approved London decided to stock this because I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Okay, this shade on the eye, it's not, it looks darker in the palette, but it's not coming out that much darker than the first shade. Still love it though, it's still good pigmentation and still blending really, really nice. Okay, and to deepen the outer V, I'm gonna take the darkest brown that is there. And I'm just gonna put that right onto, yeah, that is gorgeous. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He looks pretty, I just really wish I had a black. No palette is ever complete for me without a really like, either a black or a really, really dark brown that is almost black. Can't complain. They blend nice, they've got nice pigmentation, but I just wish they had a black. Okay, and for the shimmery shades, I wanna use as many as possible. So I'm gonna try use two. I'm gonna take the two in the middle. So this goldy one and the coppery reddish one. Wow. That pigmentation is really nice actually. And I bet with some Fix Plus or some form of activator liquid, it will be even more intense. And then I'm gonna take that um, reddish copper and put it right next to it in the center. Okay, I'm gonna try a brush for that reddish copper because it's not showing up as I want it to. I'm gonna try it on a brush. Yeah, that's much better. Now it's showing up. Okay, so that is copper popper, all done. Um, I'm not amazed by it. I'm kind of like, mm, you know, it's, mm. It's all right, it's, it's all right, just not the best. I think it's a black, I honestly think it's the black. If I put a black on my outer V right now, I'll be like, yes, hunty slay. But I, this looks so incomplete to me. Overall, I think I give this palette a nine. It misses that one point because there's no black or there's no shade dark enough to just give me some drama on the outer V. Um, I love the pigmentation, I love the colors, I love blendability literally if you want this palette gets a thumbs up from me so moving on to coffee toffee this palette does not have a black either but it does have some really deep purple shades which could kind of give some drama to the outer v so starting i'm going to start with this kind of cool tone grayish purple brown Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, I did prime my eyes before um, I started filming. I used the NYX eyeshadow base as usual. I always use it and then I set it with a translucent, translucent, <laughs> translucent powder. So that is what I did before getting on camera. That blended really nice. Pigmentation looks really, really good. Really happy with these palettes so far. Okay, and next I'm gonna take this shade right here, which is kind of like a deeper purpley brown. <laughs> Yes, this is giving me that drama. I love deeper shades. I'm gonna do a halo eye on this eye. Okay, so this palette is giving me the drama that I craved in my soul. Okay, and then we're gonna dip into this really dark shade down here. And they blend so nice. They blend so nice. I'm gonna take, I think, a mixture of this one and this one. And once again, I'm gonna use a brush to apply that. I tried to use my finger, but I don't think it gives the same effect. Yeah, definitely better with brushes, these shimmery colors. Okay, so I'm gonna do my liner and lashes off camera, and then I'll be back with the final look and my final review. Okay, girlies, I'm back. So I've completed my face. I did liner, mascara, um, blush, highlight, lipstick that's all i've done just in case anyone wants to know i'm wearing the d benoit matte lip color in the shade cranberry crim crim oh my god cranberry crimson <laughs> which looks like this back to these palettes i definitely think they're worth the money um if you've been eyeing them up and you're wondering about pigmentation or blendability it is a thumbs up i'm just going to do a quick live swatch session of a few shades and that is the pigmentation you get Everything is uh, A plus from me. I give them both a nine out of 10, literally losing that one point because I prefer blacks in my palette because I know I can definitely get that drama that I want on my outer V, but these don't have it, which would mean I have to dip into another palette. So that's the only reason I'm taking one point away from these palettes, but they are nine out of 10, amazing quality, amazing price, yes. 
so that's it from me girlies i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up let me know if you want to see a review on the other morphe palette i got which is the fall into frost palette so i will leave links down below to uh the website that i brought the palettes which was diva approved london.co.uk um i will also try and leave the 35.0 palette in case they have it in stock i will leave it all linked down below so make sure you check that description box and i think that's it from me girlies i hope you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up please subscribe and i'll catch you in my next one Bye.